individual securities can be combined into pooled investment vehicles. The term refers to structures that combine the funds of many investors to build up a portfolio of investments. Such pooled investment vehicles can be mutual funds, exchange-traded funds, asset-backed securities, or hedge funds. The investor's ownership interests can be referred to as shares, units, depository receipts, or limited partnership interests. Mutual funds can be open-ended or closed-ended. Open-ended funds issue new shares when an investor buys in and redeem existing shares when an investor sells, usually on a daily basis. The price at which a fund redeems and sells the shares is based on the net asset value of the fund's portfolio expressed on a per share basis. Investors generally buy and sell open-ended mutual funds by trading with the mutual fund. In contrast, closed-ended funds issue shares in primary market offerings. Once issued, investors cannot sell their shares of the fund back to the fund by demanding redemption. Instead, they must sell their shares to other investors in the secondary market. The secondary market prices may differ from their net asset values, usually at a discount. Exchange-traded funds also trade like closed-end funds, in which investors trade their shares in the secondary market. Unlike closed-end mutual funds, their market price is actually quite close to the net asset value of the portfolio. This is because ETFs have special provisions allowing some authorised participants to convert their shares into individual portfolio securities when the price is significantly below NAV, or exchange of portfolio shares for ETF shares when the price is significantly above NAV. Such activities help to keep the market price of the ETF close to the NAV per share of the portfolio. ETFs are sometimes referred to as depositories, with their shares referred to as depository receipts. You can learn more about mutual funds and ETFs in the portfolio management topic area of the CFA curriculum. Asset-backed securities are securities whose values and income payments are derived from a pool of assets, such as mortgages, credit card debt or car loans. The interest and principal repayments on these loans are passed through to investors with different classes of claims and levels of risk based on the seniority of the security held by the investor. Asset-backed securities are covered in detail in the fixed income course. Hedge funds are organised as limited partnerships, with the investors as the limited partners and the fund manager as the general partner. The limited partners are qualified investors who are wealthy enough and well-informed enough to tolerate and accept substantial losses should they occur. Hedge fund managers typically charge a management fee based on the amount of assets under management as well as an incentive fee based on their investment results. They try to add value by utilising various strategies and leverage is often used to amplify the gains. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.